Let Taylor Swift say fuck. One of the greatest lyricists of our time and you're arguing she'd be better if she didn't say fuck. Well, I argue that is what makes her so great. They're just words. We are so scared of words and ideas that we ban books. We burn books. And as history has shown us, we will burn people. And if we do not learn from history, we are doomed to repeat it. So let one of the greatest writers of our generation say fuck and bitch, and dickhead. The woman made I want to brainwash you into loving me forever sound amazing. Not creepy, not disgusting, she makes you want it. In swooping, sloping, cursive letters at midnight and daylight on the corner of Cornelia and 16th Ave in New York and Paris and London and LA and Nashville and small town PA, fuck. She's like mainlining melancholia, then waking up days to a cup of coffee and a warm smile and all of the beautiful things in the world told, told both in metaphors and simple syntax. Fuck. Nobody stays 16 forever and Blondie has said it herself. There was this image of the good girl. Unrealistic expectations placed upon by a demanding public. Fuck. We don't own people just because they choose to share their lives with us. They should get to choose what and how it gets shared. Fame is a byproduct of being good at something. And sometimes that byproduct is so bile it takes away your appetite. But hey, maybe they'll love me more the lower the scale goes, the higher the billboard charts. Wishful thinking. You know, I wish you would. Leave her alone. And Katie. And Selena. And Demi and Ari and Gaga and Pink and Olivia and Adele and Brittany and Kesha and Rihanna. I've grown up watching them scrutinize for details I never understood because my mom didn't care as long as I was a good person and didn't repeat any word too bad to be said in polite company. But that's the thing about teenagers and 20-somethings and 30-year-olds. We don't live in polite society. We're full of growing pains and hormones and we love and laugh and fuck and swear like sailors. Don't say you hate the album because a couple fucks were given. Don't say you hate the artist because of some cleavage and cuss words and cutting-edged opinions. I'm so fucking happy Taylor Swift says fuck. Because I'm happy she says anything at all. If I had been under a microscope and held to such high expectations, I don't think I'd speak at all.